The murder of Elizabeth Short, known as the Black Dahlia, occurred in 1947 in Los Angeles. Elizabeth, aspiring to become a recognized actress, was brutally killed. Her body was found mutilated, severed in half, and subjected to various tortures. The unsolved nature of the murder and the unknown identity of the real killer added to the darkness of this story. The Black Dahlia murder, still unsolved, remains one of the most infamous cases in the criminal world. The mystery surrounding the details and the fact that the crime has never been fully resolved contribute to its lasting impact. This short narrative recounts the tragic and horrifying end of a young woman who once harbored dreams of a bright future. In a black and white era of the 1970s, a little girl gifts her mother an enigmatic doll named Annabelle. This doll triggers a chain of extraordinary events. Shortly after, the mother and her friend witness peculiar occurrences related to the doll. Annabelle spontaneously changes places, roams across rooms, and even leaves eerie notes. These paranormal events with the doll leave its owners in fear. Annabelle seems to attract a kind of negative energy, altering the atmosphere of the house. The inhabitants believe they are under the influence of dark entities accompanying the doll. Various mediums and experts are called upon during this process, but Annabelle's influence persists. The Annabelle doll incident opens doors to the depths of the paranormal world. The mystery of the event remains unsolved, and the sinister energy of Annabelle continues to draw viewers into this terrifying tale. Night had settled over the town, casting a hush upon it. Sarah stumbled upon an abandoned mansion. Lights flickered to life as she entered, and an old piano began playing in the center of the room. No one was present, yet the portraits on the walls transformed into depictions of the living dead. Doors locked, curtains closed on their own. Desiring escape, Sarah heard echoes of children's laughter and sinister chuckles in the hallway. Suddenly, eyes in the portraits turned towards her. Sarah had stepped into a living nightmare, racing against time to flee. The nightmare concluded as the light went out. One night, a group of friends lost in a deep forest spotted a strange light from a distance. As they followed it, they reached the front of an old abandoned house. The door creaked open, revealing walls stained with blood. A voice whispered, never come here. However, every attempt to leave resulted in the door closing, trapping them inside. The truth was, they were lost in the depths of the forest, and they remained forever trapped in fear. The Haunting in Connecticut, A Paranormal Nightmare Welcome! Today, we're delving into the terrifying paranormal events that unfolded in Connecticut in 1986. This story, beginning in an ordinary house but escalating into something dark, will take you on a journey into the depths of fear. A normal-looking home filled with paranormal realities. This seemingly ordinary house was where a family moved with hopes of a fresh start. However, what they didn't know was that this house harbored a deep darkness in its history. Starting with simple noises and strange occurrences, this nightmare would fundamentally alter the family's lives. Research and Discoveries Confronting Paranormal Activities The family sought experts to unravel the mystery behind the strange events. Yet, each investigation only unveiled more secrets about the house, revealing that paranormal activities were becoming more complex. Depths of the Nightmare in the Connecticut House These paranormal events in the house not only prompted the family to consider leaving their home, but also left viewers questioning. Is it real, or is it just a story? And there you have a brief overview of the haunting events in the Connecticut House. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video with more real horror stories.